Thanks so much, Craig. Josh, Blake Snell leads the league in issuing free passes. You were able to draw two walks. How much did patience factor into the way you wanted to approach him? Yeah, I think the game plan today was just shoot the fastball the other way, make sure he's in the zone. Um, I was able to do that my second at bat. It was on the fastball. Um, the other two, I didn't want to chase. Um, you know, Brandon and I worked on him. We watched video. Um, got a lot of swing and miss out of the zone. I just didn't want to make that the case for me today. Yeah, you mentioned it, picking up another hit. We have seen the hits for you since you joined this team and the importance of the work that you've done with Brant Brown. What has been maybe the biggest piece of advice or the key factor in the work that you have done with Brant that's led to success? I think uh, I think it's just having a game plan for every single pitcher, um, knowing what I'm going to do, even when it doesn't work out. I have a game plan. Um, I'm trying to execute it day in, day out, pitch after pitch. Um, and, and Brent does his research really well. We have a team, you know, set in place for us to give us success if we just pay attention to it. Um, guys have their tendencies that they follow, and there are certain zones that if you hunt, you can do damage in. So I'm just trying to, you know, follow orders and, and play the best I can. Teams always talk about the importance of building an inning. All three runs for you guys came in that third inning. What led to being able to build that inning against Snell? It starts with Soli. Um, you know, one swing in the bat, you know, it's it's really demoralizing to give up a homer, but to dead center like he did, you know, it's not an easy ballpark to drive out of, um, and he made it look easy. So, you know, after that, a couple swings of the bat, um, got run, runners in scoring position, um, Next thing you know, good things happen. Yeah, that was a shot by Soler. Were there some jaws dropping in that dugout? Every time. I mean, I don't think he missed its homers. They're all 450 and above. It's crazy. Appreciate the time. Thanks so much. You got it, Jess. Thank you. Craig, back to you. Skip, just uh, how big of a positive step in the right direction was this start for Jesus tonight? Yeah, we needed this uh, out of him. He needed it as well. Um, gosh, his fastball was electric tonight with the slider. I didn't walk guys um, on the attack against a good lineup um, who hits lefties. That, that, that lineup hits lefties, and um, he was matching Snell. Snell's been one of the best in the league, um, especially the, se the second half has been unbelievable. Um, so matching him was uh, what we needed for, uh, tonight, and um, obviously solely breaking through uh, with the big home run, maybe the furthest one of his career. Um, and then we just added on, added on after that, and um, yeah, I mean, just a really good day. Yeah, you mentioned it, that home run from Soler in the third. Was that the biggest key to setting the tone in that inning? You know, what was really key to getting those three runs? Yeah, we were not um, seeing his curveball. We were swinging at the changeup, his curveball um, a lot. They just could not pick it up, almost like the Waka changeup last night. We just could not pick it up. Um, the league can't pick it up. The, the entire major leagues is not picking up the curveball or the fastball or the changeup right now from, from Snell. He's just kind of in that zone. So um, collecting hits uh, was was key today. Um, you know, some some big walks at times and putting the ball in play and um, some good base running. And I think that's, uh, you know, that was the offensive side. We didn't really get anything much after that, um, but just one big inning. That's all it took with that back end bullpen is as good as I've ever seen it uh, this year. Um, just electric stuff from Nardi and Scott and, uh, you know, other than the walk by Robertson, just really good stuff tonight. And uh, that play by Jazz um, also was a, a difference maker. You always talk about getting the shutdown inning after the offense scores, the importance of Lazaro getting that third to be yeah. able to keep it going. Yeah, absolutely. That's a momentum changer, you, especially on the road. Um, you know, they come back, and if they you know, s score one right there even, it's just, uh, you know, you just never know what's going to happen, right? And and um, so keeping that momentum going in the dugout, even though we didn't score um, just it still felt like you know we were in the in the um, had the momentum on our side and um, and again when you have that back end bullpen uh, like we have uh, we feel really good with any lead. Uh, Avi, how's he doing? Uh, not great. Um, you know, obviously really frustrated. Just a tough year so far for him and um, getting back injured the whole year. It feels like finally gets back. He's doing everything the right way, um, preparing, you know, to get his body right and, you know, pulls, pull, you know, pulls up with a hamstring. We'll find out how bad it is tomorrow, but um, feels like it's, you know, in, a, in the belly of that thing. And it's, uh, so not ideal. You mentioned the base running. I think it was on Berger's hit. Just the runners were in motion. Just was that obviously planned? Do you think that maybe affected a bit how that play? Yeah, they, they were the, the they were on green light uh, that particular at bat. So whenever they felt like they, you know, we had something on Snell. Whenever they felt like they were ready to go, it's it's up to them when they want to go. Um, and obviously the timing was great when the ball was put in play. Um, 
Berger ran hard, um, and you know that's kind of what happened. But it, it was it, it wasn't called by me. It was just it was green light, and when they were ready to go in that at bat, um, you know, and they and they took advantage of it. What do you say about the inning for Andrew Nardi since coming off the IL has just been nails pretty much? He has. We missed him. You know, it, it was a struggle without him um, when he was on the IL. So. You know, having him come, come back, the first, you know, outing or so, he wasn't as sharp. You know, you could tell that, like, he was almost like the opening day again, just nerves kind of, and now he's settled back in, and um, he's throwing 98 miles an hour, both in, in L.A. and in here. Uh, he fired up. Slider was really good. I don't even think he needed the slider tonight. He could just go with the, the fastball was that good and putting it where he wants it um, against the heart of the order, too. And, um, yeah, it's he's really effective, and, you know, glad to have him back. Skip, you've always got a game plan for everything. When you have an arm like Tatis out in the outfield, do you have to adjust the game plan when it comes to base running, or do you still want to see guys yeah, be aggressive? Yeah, there's very, very few guys that you have to shut down when the ball's hit to uh, that particular player, and he's one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, I think he has the best. I know there's that, you know, De La Cruz over in Cincinnati, and there's some really good arms around the league. But for me, just being around Tatis, um, Rick Ankiel and Tatis are the two best arms I've seen um, in my career, and um, and he showed it off again. He got us in Miami too. Um, two outs, you take a chance there, mm-hmm. you know. And um, uh, you know, ball was hit probably too hard, <laughs> so by Jazz, and um, it wasn't. You know, I, I still think you take a chance against Snell on the mound. Trying to get another hit against Snell would have been. It's not. It's not easy to just get mm-hmm. four hits in a row or whatever. So um, taking a chance there, I was okay with it. And there being a moot point, but was there any consideration to pinching Fortes there in the top of the eighth of the back? Floor? Yeah, we can't because of the injury. Yeah, so um, if we go uh, Sanchez there, I got to take Soler out defensively, uh, you know, and so if I pinch at him there, then the next inning I can't take Soler out um, defensively, you know, uh, in the ninth inning, and that was more important to me at that point. Avi, can you just uh, take us through running to first, what you felt? Uh, when you approach the base? I mean, I feel uh, my hand trip pull. Um, I haven't felt anything for like yesterday or today or whatever. I haven't felt anything. It was uh, in my last step, I feel like my hand trip pull and frustrated, you know. How are you feeling right now? Well, I feel mad, frustrated and everything, of course. I've uh, been hurt for like three months. And then now I got this new injury, you know, first time in my career. It's uh, I feel I feel mad, you know, because I've been doing everything right, my exercise, gym. Even in the day off, I, I went to the gym and do my do my uh, routine, and and this happened. But you know, it's out of my control. I just gotta keep working and and try to come back as soon as I can. What's the next step? Well, I, I got an MRI tomorrow, um, and see how how it is. But you know. I can't tell you anything right now, so that's that's the situation. Just, I mean, the fact it's a hustle play that helps score a run, but that's what you get hurt on for it to be something like that. I mean, that's uh, what I was thinking is like the most important is the run. If I feel something before I pull my hammy, I will stop, but I didn't feel anything, and um, I just keep running hard like like I always do. You know, I always hustling. And that happens, but you know, something, something that is out of my control. Injuries is like that. It's frustrated. I feel, I feel really bad. But you know, I just gotta keep moving forward. And just with this being two years in a row now, where it seems like you come, you come back, then get another one. You come back, you get another one. Just seeing how that's gone. Just, I know you mentioned the frustration. Just seeing how that's gone since you've gotten here. Just the bad luck or whatever. Yeah, when it comes to the injuries. I mean, it's a bad luck, you know. Um, I don't wanna. I don't like. I don't like this situation. I don't like to be in this situation. But it is what it is. I mean, uh, you just gotta keep, put, keep thinking positive, um, and keep moving forward because uh, it's not easy. Up in the right direction was the start for you tonight. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I just got back on track. Um, obviously, frustrating second half so far, uh, but good to you know get get my feet back under me and uh, against a good team like that. A lot of first pitch strikes. Mel always stresses the importance of that. What do you think led to you getting back to being able to execute so many first pitch strikes? Uh, I feel like just mentally. Um, just the mentality I took into the game, I feel like it was different than the last couple starts maybe. Um, just felt like I 
should attack the zone, and uh, if whatever happens, happens at that point. What about the four seamers? Gibbs said it was like electric. Yeah, I mean, Marm has been feeling really good. Um, it's just really been about getting it in good places, um, and that's something that we focus on heavily with Mel in between my starts and uh, just taking maybe a little bit more time and focusing on what, what we want to do. Seems like your change of slider will work out okay, too. Yeah, I mean, my slider uh, hadn't been the best lately, but uh, like I said, we've been working on it, and uh, thankfully the change up for me, I feel like, is my equalizer. Um, I'm able to use it in certain counts, and it helps me get back into good counts. It's just the importance of finding a way to build off this and carry this into the next starts, making sure it's not just a one-star thing. Or... Yeah, um, yeah, I feel like it's it's super important. And uh, like I said, I feel like that goes with like the mentality of, of things and just um, – Maybe just the way of viewing it and instead of, you know, uh, being anxious or nervous for a start. Um, not to get deep, but I had a friend uh, who recently gave up baseball uh, out of college, and we had a conversation today. Uh, he was just saying how, you know, you're in the big leagues, enjoy it. Um, if today was the last day you were going to throw a baseball, how do you want to go out? Obviously not. You don't want to go out there anxious and stressed. You want to go out there giving all you got. So uh, I feel like that's, that's the mentality I want to take moving forward. I would say just the rotation on this road trip. It, you think you know you hear about hitting being contagious, but pitching as well. Yeah, I, I do believe that. I feel like um, when you see guys rolling, it just makes you want to get better and roll with them. So, um, you know, Sandy's obviously. Um, back to being Sandy and um, I, I think everyone's pitching well I think Brax is pitching really well um, I, I hope to get get on board right there but you know we got Weathers now we got Yuri so um, we got great great guys here and uh, everyone works really hard and I feel like like you said it's a little contagious just like pitching that third inning in particular after the offense gets three runs just the importance of getting the shutdown inning out it's something that Skip and Mel they've talked about all season being able to do that once the offense gets, gets going yeah I feel like uh, Skip's really pounded in that into our minds um, and I've known that my whole life but uh, the, just the importance of it. Uh, once we put out, once we get with those three runs or scored those three runs, I knew it was important to go out there and get three outs right away. How satisfying was it to end your start on the uh, strike him out, throw him out as well? That was great. Uh, <laughs> yeah, me and Nick. I mean, I, I I enjoy working with Nick a lot. So um, when he, when he gets the chance to throw someone out, I enjoy it for him too. And I mean, it helped me out. So I was happy. Any time the two seam sinkers today was that part of the game plan going in or? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we try to use both sides of the plate. Um, honestly, I, I do. I feel like I threw a lot more sinkers than it read. Sometimes it reads as a forcing fastball for me. Uh, I don't know why. But um, for the most part, uh, maybe not as many sinkers. Uh, I feel like we, we really try to get inside on righties for the most part. But uh, we did a fair share of kind of both sides of the plate.